Today, we're at a residential home where the homeowner has decided to upgrade from a traditional central HVAC system to a more efficient and flexible mini VRF system. This install includes one wall-mounted indoor unit and three one-way ceiling cassettes, all connected to a single outdoor VRF condenser. First things first, we pump down the old unit. Once the pump down is complete, turn the power off and disconnect the Freon lines. Then the electrical. For this job, we chose to keep their galvanized steel line set cover. Onto the attic view, that is the first wall mount. Then you see our first ceiling cassette in the corner. A second one right below where our manifold is going to be. And then the third one in the far bedroom. We use torque wrenches to make the connections. Then we install a manifold. This manifold allows us to combine the refrigerant lines from all four indoor units into two copper lines that connects to the outdoor VRF condenser. This method not only reduces the number of wall penetration, but also simplifies maintenance and improves system efficiency. We use flare fittings and insulation. Now we braze. If you're not familiar with brazing, brazing is a high temperature process that fuses the copper pipes together using a filler metal. We purge the lines with nitrogen during brazing to prevent oxidation and scale buildup inside the pipes. Many people believe this is the best practice that helps maintain refrigerant flow and system longevity. Once the joints are brazed, we immediately cool them down using a wet rag. This helps prevent heat from traveling to nearby components and reduces the risk of heat stress on the fittings. Once all joints are braced, we wrap them with insulation to prevent energy loss and condensation. Now we mount the outdoor condenser on a plastic pad. Drill through the wall for our line set, drain line, and communication wires. Make sure they're nice and neat. Before charging the system, we perform a pressure test to check for any leaks, and then we vacuum it down before we put the free on. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this behind the scenes look, at an install, don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop your questions in the comments. See you on the next job.